developed to assist in the treatment of hypertension and congestive heart failure. ACE inhibitors are designed to lower blood pressure and decrease the workload on the heart. Working directly on the renin and angiotensin aldosterone system Russ, of the body, these medications work to block the conversion of angiotensin to angiotensin E. The renin and angiotensin aldosterone system of the kidneys works to prevent or respond to a fall in blood pressure. If detected, the renal system will release renin, which in turn triggers the release of angiotensin E. Angiotensin converting enzymes, ACE, then converts angiotensin E into angiotensin II. The goal being to increase blood pressure by retaining salt, sodium, and constricting the blood vessels of the circulatory system. This of course, also increases the workload on the heart, because it is pumping against tightened blood vessels. Through the use of ACE inhibitors, angiotensin converting enzymes are blocked which also blocks the cascade of events that would follow. Meaning that there is not vasoconstriction, no sodium retention, which would assist in the retention of fluid or cause edema, and no stimulation to release vasopressin, an anti hormone, into the system. Simply stated this class of medication works to decrease blood pressure and reduce the amount of work required by the heart. Included in this class of drugs are Captopril, Zofenopril, Nolapril, Remipril, Quinapril, Prindapril, Lisinopril, Benazepril and Fosinopril. In addition to this class of medications, there are beta blockers, calcium channel blockers as well as diuretics that can assist in the reduction of blood pressure. Beta blockers, also known as beta adrenergic blocking agents, work directly on confron adrenaline. By blocking the effects of this hormone, the heart rate slows and the blood vessels relax which decreases the force necessary by the pumping heart to circulate the blood. These actions in turn decrease blood pressure. Medications included in this class are estrogen, ednidal, bicipital, dipridal and prepridal to list a few. Calcium channel blockers also they have a positive effect by lowering one's blood pressure. The mechanism of action prevents the movement of calcium into cell walls, specifically of the heart and blood vessels. A few of these medications in this class can also assist in decreasing heart rate in conjunction with lowering blood pressure which can be very effective in relieving chest pain and controlling an irregular heart rhythm. Included in this class are amlodipine, diltiazem, fledipine, nifedipine and vaclima for examples. Maybe one of the most basic classes of medications that can be useful in treating high blood pressure is diuretics. Many times referred to as water pills, they are also effective in the treatment of edema and glaucoma. By ridding the body of excess sodium, they in turn assist in the elimination of fluid that is found circulating throughout the body. It is common to find that this class of medications used in conjunction with others such as ACE inhibitors. Learn more at ACE-inhibitors.com